Game, 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 caviar. Okay, so not having it with the weekly gaming caviar game news. I skipped last week because I had to work, but I'm back at it. I'm back on it. First up, I'm playing Medal of Honor. I'm reporting on Medal of Honor. It looks like from reports that the that the uh, the multiplayer component is going to be amazing this time around. I'm talking about 14 tier one teams from countries around the world and just thinking of that 14 teams that are playable in multiplayer they have just by process of common sense thought uh and and wishing and just guessing i'm thinking that the multiplayer is going to be a lot bigger and i think it's going to be a mix of of course it's going to be like a mix of call of duty and battlefield 3 i believe it's going to be more like the battlefield 3 uh, CQB DLC that's coming out in June the close quarters battles but 14 teams is a lot and if anybody had played this game you know that the multiplayer component was kind of lacking but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that this time around anyway what do we have next Halo 4 pre-order bonuses have been announced the various companies that are gonna be selling this game has already spilled what they're gonna give it to you if you pre-order shop around and see which one is best for you I didn't see anything that really stood out that's worth mentioning uh, but like I said shop around and maybe you find something that will fit you and tickle your fancy moving on Ghost Recon got an 80 from Metacritic Ghost Recon Future Soldier is a game that just got released, and it's amazing. I played the beta. I made a video of it. If you didn't see it, check it out. And that game has had been plagued with delays after delay after delay. But in this case, when they delayed the game, they were actually doing good, you know, making the game better. And that's exactly what happened. An 80 for Metacritic is really good. If you don't know what Metacritic is, Metacritic basically takes scores from various rating sites and it puts it together and gives movies and, uh, and games and things like that an average score. And of course, the higher the score is, the better the product is. So an 80 on Metacritic is amazing. Let's see, what do we have next? Zone of the Enders HD Collection has been formally announced. It has been listed for Xbox and PS3. I don't believe there's been a release date yet. I will do more research on that. And if I find something out, I will either say it in a video or comment on this video. But I've seen videos, I mean, not videos. I've seen high res pictures of the game, the HD remake, and they look amazing. So all of you Zone of Enders fans like myself who have been waiting for this, rest assured that the game is going to be awesome. What's next? Sony is making a Shadow of the Colossus movie. Now, you know that the other game, The Last Guardian, which is the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus, is currently in development. When that game drops, it's going to be amazing. A lot of the times when Sony makes, uh, has exclusives, they take a long time to be made. Uh, just like Gran Turismo 5, but when they get released, they're amazing. I have no doubt that The Last Guardian will be amazing, and I also have no doubt that the Shadow of the Colossus movie will be amazing. Uh, they haven't had any, uh, I haven't seen a trailer, and they haven't even uh, hired actors or anything yet. So it's really in the beginning stages, but it has been announced. Uh, Jet Set Radio is coming to Vita. Jet Set Radio was a. Uh, popular game on Dreamcast I don't think I had that I had a ton of games for Dreamcast but I don't believe I had that one but it's being ported to the Vita I'll check it out I'll definitely play the demo I'll let you know exactly what I think about it and keep an eye out for that it has been reported that Max Payne 3 has had the biggest release in 2012 so far uh, now we all know what's coming out at the end of this year so maybe it will beat out the the giant call of duty maybe it won't i don't know but so far as of right now it it has had the biggest release of 2012 and that game is amazing if you haven't picked up max Payne 3 do so immediately after watching this video and liking this video <laughs> you pick the game up because it's amazing let's see uh, let me check my time real quick okay i got enough time Aliens Colonial Marines a game that's coming out uh, Gearbox software a company that's involved in that game said 
went on record to say that the game will look the best on the Wii U. Wii U is Nintendo's next console that's slated to be released soon within a year or so. I don't know when it's supposed to come out. But it has been characterized more recently as being it went from one developer saying look it's not really that much of a powerhouse to other people coming out and saying that look it's going to be good it's really good and this is just an example of somebody coming out and saying that the wii u is going to be good they're saying that colonial marines it's aliens game and it's going to look the best on wii u time will tell i don't think so but i don't know that for sure i could be wrong anyway uh, what is this? A new Star Wars franchise will debut na next week, according to Eurogamer. They didn't have really, they really didn't have that much details about it, and I kind of skimmed through the article. Uh, but I, I figured I'd uh, let you guys know about this because Star Wars is very popular and the games are very popular. And so uh, next week, keep an eye out for any news involving this debut of new franchise. Make sure you look us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash GameCaviar. Like and comment and subscribe to our channel, please, if you haven't already. We have picked up so many subscribers, and I want to give a big shout-out to 402 Thunder. Uh, he's one of those guys that's uh, part of Machinima, a company that we're trying to join. And he has helped us in the past couple days uh, gain more views and more subs. So I just want to give him a big shout-out. And if you just check him out, 402 Thunder 402. He has very good videos. This guy has a really good way of making great videos. He goes about it in a way that is like he's laid back and he's funny. And every time I watch one of his videos, I'm thoroughly entertained, almost to the point of lunacy. But um, he has a great product. He made he put up a video about a. Uh, I don't know how he managed to do this, man. And it, he managed to like superimpose the nuke uh, kill streak and on Black Ops. I don't know how he works that magic, but it looked. You you just gotta go check it out. Go check it out. The ending is funny as hell. Anyway, this match is over. This video is over. I'm not really that good at this game, and um, it <laughs> it took me a while to get back into it. I know you've heard me say that before, but it's true. Uh, I, I'm, I just can't wait for Warfighter. And the closer it is, the more excited I'm going to get about it. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. You've been watching the latest gaming news. I will see you next Friday for more gaming news and during the week for our normal lineup of gaming shows. All right, people. Thanks for watching. I'm out.